Today in our series on elemental magic, we're talking about the mystical fifth element, spirit. whoever you are to Meg's Magical Mansion, a virtual guest house for spiritual wayfarers, a place where the ordinary becomes magical, where wisdom is yours for the asking, and where your higher nature is just a wish away. Thanks for joining us here today at the Magical Mansion. I'm Meg with my fluffy little helper, Alice Pooper, and of course, my delightful parlor maid, Parfait. Charm. Hey, Parfait, you look great today. Oh, thank you. I, I just had this laying around you. I love this angelic look on you. Oh, I know. I was feeling very angelic today because we're covering our fifth and final element. I know, and it's a very spiritual element. It is, yes. Hey, absolutely. take a seat, then we'll, we'll talk all about it. You know, we've we've talked about the four basic elements. Do you remember, we do we remember what they all are? Oh, okay. I think I got this. Um, think about the outfits you wore. It'll I all will. Come I will. It'll all help. Okay. So, um, you started with the lady one. in red. You were the, the yes, light. yes. A, a fire. I was fire. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then after that, I believe I was a stewardess, so I was air. Air. Yeah. Yes. And then I was a delightful mermaid. Little mermaid. So um, that must have been water. Correct. Yeah. And then okay. I was a delightful elfin creature. Mm -hmm. Very, very cute, by the way. And, well, I love that, that one. Earth. Yeah. So, ooh, we're on our final one. Yeah, today we're back yeah. with part five in our series yeah, yeah, on yeah. elemental magic. So what could it be? Hmm. Well, I was very, very angelic, so I know. Spirit. It's spirit. Yeah. Oh, yay. Okay. This week, we're taking a look at the element of spirit. It's a magical fifth element, and it's a force behind all existence. That's right, Portfei. You know, spirit is the power that drives the divine. Mm -hmm. It is that absolute and constant source of life. Spirit is all and nothing. It's chaos and order. It's joy and sorrow. It's life and death. Oh, gee, this element is kind of contradictory, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed. And this is because it's where the conscious and the unconscious mind meet. It's the beginning and the end of manifestation. Wow. Well, spirit is pure, raw power without awareness or form. Oh, that sounds so mysterious, doesn't it? Let's find out more. Spirit is the energy from which the other elements are derived. It's always there, just waiting for our instructions to act in whatever way we direct it to. Spirit is also created when the other four elements come into perfect balance. So keeping those elements well balanced can increase the amount of spirit in your life. It's important to remember that each of those elements are dependent on one another. Excess of one element creates a loss of another. The element of spirit can also be viewed as the soul, the spark of divine essence that is in each of us. Spirit reminds us that all comes from the same source. There truly is no separation between us. Just artificial separations our egos like to put up to make us feel superior and cover up all our insecurities. There is no separation between us, the God, Goddess, and all that is. The element of spirit gives each of us the ability to co-create and manifest whatever kind of life we want to have here in this 3D plane. Spirit is the endless possibility of everything we can experience and create. The element of spirit is also referred to as the Akasha. We did an episode on the Akashic Record, and you might want to check that out. I'll link that at the end of this episode. Spirit is also called the Ether. It's the etheric source of time, wisdom, and life itself. Because spirit rules over all and nothing, there aren't really a lot of associations with this element. So I guess spirit rules over transcendence, transformation, the deity within, all other elements, all of existence, and the void of existence. Wow, that's esoteric. The direction for spirit is all directions, and it has no fixed time of day, as spirit is beyond all time. It is the giver of time. There are some color associations. 
black, white, purple, and metallic colors like gold, silver, and copper. The element of spirit is associated with the major arcana in the tarot deck. If you're interested in learning more about the connection between the elements and tarot, check back next time for an episode all about that. The element of spirit is associated with mythical creatures like the Sphinx and the Kundalini Serpent. Its place is outer space, the void, and the unconscious mind. And spirit also exists in the hollow spaces of your body, such as your stomach, intestines, gallbladder, bladder, and your heart. Who knew we were so filled with spirit? Some deities that you can work with include Aditi, an important Vedic goddess in Hinduism. She personifies the infinite, endless cosmos. Ashera, an ancient Near Eastern mother goddess. She is the mother of the 70 great gods and the consort of El, the chief god. Mawu, the West African creator goddess, associated with the sun and the moon. And one of my all-time favorite goddesses, Kali, the Hindu goddess of time, change, creation, power, death, and destruction. She's so cheerful, I love her. We have an episode all about her in our Power Goddess series, which I will also link at the end of this episode. I love Kali, she's such a badass. You know, spirit is the bridge between our physical world and the spiritual. It is the means by which you can summon the other elements to you. That's right. And it's important to remember that none of these elements work in isolation. They are very interdependent. It takes each of the four elements in balance, working through the magical conduit of spirit to be able to co-create with the divine. To quote Irvin Laszlo, author of The Akashic Experience, Science and the Cosmic Memory Field, where does our creative energy come from in the first place? Pure energy is always emitting from the source of the universe brimming with infinite potential. This energy supports all forms of life, big or small. Each human being receives a steady supply of this same universal energy. And each of us assigns a shape to that energy by means of our words, thoughts, and emotions. This is the process of creation. The energy of any thought, whatever it might be, holds the potential for generating a creative field. However, unless several thoughts of the same type are emitted, a creative field will not be formed. Just one thought in and of itself will quickly lose impetus unless it is reinforced by the energy of other thoughts that resemble it. If several thoughts of the same type are emitted, the energy of those thoughts will band together and the rudiments of a creative field will take shape. Once this rudimentary field has been formed, new energy can easily be added to it. As its mass increases, it will consolidate into a cohesive creative field. As this field continues to grow, it exerts a stronger and stronger influence on the person's will, decisions, and behavior. So good luck using the power of elemental magic to create the reality you desire. Well, there you have it, our look at the element of spirit, that endless element that has no form. It's just pure energy. Spirit is everywhere, in everything, but it cannot take its own physical form. We must call it into existence in conjunction with the four other elements. And that, my friends, is how you manifest. And as humankind continues to explore the universe and give kisses and go deeper into her mysteries, we will learn more about the magic of the ether. As our knowledge expands, co-creating with the universe will become child's play. That's why I'm so fascinated with the intersection where science and spirituality collide. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed 
a look at the element of spirit with all its contrary ways. It is the way of the universe. And it's the way to manifest everything you want in the 3D world. And of course, don't forget, in the words of Buddha, a thousand candles can be lit from a single candle and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. So thank you for sharing your time and attention with us here today at Meg's Magical Mansion. Take care. Toodles.